There we go. <laughs> That's the signal. Alright, so. We need some chat. So, how do you pronounce that? Is it Elsa Pog Tog or? Elsa Pog. Elsa Pog? Yeah, Elsa okay. Pog. All right. it's, it's a G is silent and yeah. the I is A. Right. So they were uh, they were kind of camped out blockading on this road for a couple since uh, earlier in October, right? right. And then and then uh, was it last Thursday morning? Was that when the RCMP came? Yeah. But you yeah. know the thing about it is that the RCMP is not acting on the behalf of the people. They're acting on the behalf of the corporations much like everything that's going on here in this country. Uh, uh, the police have become militarized on the behalf of corporate greed and on the behalf of corporations. So they're not really acting in the best interest of the people. They're acting in the best interest of corporations. And so that's how I feel about where our police and military are standing right now. Yeah. And, you know? and I think it was pretty shocking to see all those snipers wearing camo and that kind of thing. Yeah. Like, you know, it reminded me of something like Blackwater or FD. Yeah. Like a private, you know, militia. You know? A private yeah. militia. Yeah, the same thing is going on up in Bad River. Yeah, up it's Pinocchi, where they have military people up there in camouflage. And you better know that those are private. Yeah, that is a private right. army. Yeah, right, right. You know, so since when do we get to have private armies in the United States? Yeah, this, this trend seems to be spreading. Right. There's more native encampments and blockades going on as these projects are so destructive and dangerous. Right. And there's a more militarized response from right. the corporate state, basically. Right, exactly, yeah. the corporate state. Yeah, wow. Right, come on. So we're here today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Show our solidarity uh, as a humanitarian <laughs> effort mm -hmm. to show our support for the Mi'kmaq mm -hmm. and also for the for the people. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to be present. We have to be aware. We have to understand what our goals and mission is mm -hmm. while we're here on this planet. Mm -hmm. And that's to protect our lands and our waters and our resources from corporations who are unconscionable and they remind me of sociopaths without a conscience. Yeah. You know? Totally. They don't have like a conscience a yeah. about what they're doing. You know, it's like sociopaths keep repeating the same shit over and over and over again without having any real consequences for their actions. And they don't respond to consequences. So what do you do in that situation? Right. You have to resist. We have to be their conscience. Since they don't have any. Yeah, I told you they were blowtorching the decals. Guys, they're blowtorching the bike. I went up on top of that advisor and that's right there. Yeah, totally. Alright, so this is uh, 701 at 4th uh, Avenue. Um, and uh, the Canadian consulate is in the building. And uh, as usual, the Minneapolis police, we have five viewers. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're in downtown Minneapolis right now. Um, this is a Elsa, Elsa Pog Tog. I can't say it fast enough, but it's uh, Elsa Pog Tog. Uh, the, uh, the tribe in what is generally known as Canada um, that was raided by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police a few days ago. Um, and uh, this building here uh, is, has the Canadian consulate. And uh, the cops have the door sealed off. So. I know. Pretty decent little turnout today. Yeah. There are uh, go-karts over there. As always, have their cheesy go kart. Come on. Sorry about this stream not really kicking in too well. It's pretty frustrating. Come on, stream. You can do it. I don't know why the stream isn't really working today. Usually, I have better luck. Come on. 
Oh no. Oh no. Need more rocks. G connection isn't really working for jack shit, but it, it's uh no. It's just I don't know what's going on. It was working okay on the street. I'm gonna try standing over somewhere else. Come on. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, you too. I'll be back in a couple weeks now. Two oh, good. Yeah. Cool, yeah. Yeah, I've yeah, been busy you know, working on websites and stuff. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna upload the clip. Just 
problem does not to our protest in just the red skin. Because people say, don't you know, I don't think it's more important than that. We absolutely do, but that's what the media jumps on. The media jumps on the, you know, the team names and stuff. So that's why I think it's important to bring these messages to that protest on November 7th. Yeah.
pretty kind of shocked they said that it is under the film was saying, you know, uh, colonialism has been pretty kind of shocked from the beginning. Um, I wrote a sign that talks about how you actually Canada is kind of the same as immigrant nations, but they're actually settler nations, and the point, um, the important point that that brings up um, is that is that, 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 is